G'day fellow Kryptons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and configure a Monero local node and use that with the Monero GUI or GUI or graphical user interface wallet on Tails over Tor. Before we begin, please smash the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for this video. On my screen here, I have the Tor Browser folder open and the Tor Browser window. To start with, we're going to go to get monero.org. Okay, on, on the get monero.org website, we're going to hit downloads to download the Monero GUI. So you'll see Monero GUI Wallet. Scroll down to Linux 64-bit and just click on that. It should open a save file dialog box. Click save file and save it to the Tor browser folder. Hit save. Now while that's downloading, you'll see it's downloading, we are going to scroll down to show hashes to verify your download. After the download is completed, what we're going to do is uh, verify that the hashes are, are good. Um, and to do that, we'll need to visit this link here, Verify Binaries on Linux. Just going to open that in the new tab. Close out of that and visit this page. Okay, so Verify Binaries on Linux. Now, there's a few steps involved in this. So while the GUI is downloading, we're going to start on this. Um, first step is to install the GNU PG and as you'll see here on Linux which uh, Tails, uh, Tails has GNU PG installed by default so we don't have to do anything there. The next step is to verify and import the signing key. First of all we need to get the signing binary fates GPG key. Now to do that we need to copy and paste this code into terminal. Uh, there's a bit of an issue with this code if you, if you select the whole bit and copy and paste it. So I'm, go I'm going to actually copy the first bit. Go to the Tor Browser folder, right click, click Open in Terminal. Okay, and then I'm going to paste, then space, and then I'm going to copy the second bit of code here right click in terminal and paste again and then hit enter okay and you'll see here it has downloaded in the Tor browser folder the binary fake.ese signing key okay next what we're going to do is to verify the signing key um, on all operating systems this is just to check uh, that the fingerprint is right so again we just copy this code Go to Terminal, right click and click Paste and hit Enter. We verify the fingerprint matches with what's on getmonero.org's website. So going from here, PUB, down to the email address, what we need to do is just make sure that the key fingerprint matches what's on the website here, which it does. If it does, then you may proceed. Okay, next it asks you to import the signing key. Now on uh, Tails, the, I mean you could just paste that code if you want to, but if you just double click on binaryfate.ase, you'll see it says key imported. So you don't actually have to copy and paste this code, uh, but just to show you how it works, just uh, select that, hit copy, go to terminal, hit paste and enter. Okay, and you'll see that if you have imported the key previously, your output will look like this, which is what it is. That's what our output looks like, right there. Okay, moving on, we're going to download and verify the hash file. So first thing we need to do is get the hash file, and we do that by copying this code, pasting it in terminal, and hit enter. Okay, and you'll see it's downloaded the hashes.txt file. Okay, if you open that, 
um, you'll see there if you scroll down to GUI uh, you'll see the hash for the Monero GUI Linux but we don't need that right now okay what we need to do next is verify the hash file to do that copy and paste this code into terminal and hit enter okay and you'll see if the file is authentic it should display this okay so have a look to see if it matches what's on getmonero.org's website and it says if your output shows good signature you may proceed which it does okay next it says to download and verify the binary now the binary is what we are downloading here as you can see the download is from a bit of bit on a of a slow connection here so um, but if we hadn't downloaded this before you can copy and paste this code uh, knowing that this is an older version 15.0.1 we're downloading a newer version which is 17.2.2 um, so I'm just going to pause this video and come back when the download is ready okay so the Monero GUI has downloaded we're going to move on to binary verification. To start with, we're going to have to copy this code in, into terminal. Now you'll notice on this code that the version is an older version, so we are going to have to change that to make it work with our version, which is 17.2.2. So we just go back, backspace on this and type in 17.2.2. And then go back a little bit further and we need to add the letters GUI dash okay because it's to match our file name or otherwise it won't work hit enter okay and you'll see it's just some here and it needs to match this on the Monero uh, getmonero.org's website so as you can see um, it doesn't match and that's because this is uh, the hash for the older version 15.0.1 this is where we need to go into the file which we downloaded hashes.txt okay find the G, uh, linux gui hash which is this one here sorry okay and that's the one that you got to match it up to right there okay and as you can see it matches If your hash does match, then you're finished with the guide and you can extract and install the file. If it does not match, then you need to delete the binary and redo everything again. Okay, so because it matches, we are now going to extract the files to the Tor browser folder. Okay, close out of this. Okay, just watch the circle here. It's going to take a little bit of time. To complete the extraction. Okay, so you'll see the message that says it's extracted. Uh, we can now delete this. We don't need this anymore. Okay, if you double click on the extracted files, you'll see another folder. We are going to cut that folder out and paste it into Tor Browser. Now you can, of course, do this in persistent folder if you want to. Um, if you, you know, if, if it's just you're just testing it, then by all means save it in Tor browser, knowing that when you shut down Tails, this is all not going to be here anymore. So if you want it to persist, you need to save it in persistent folder. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to save it in Tor browser folder. I can delete this one now because everything we need is in here. Okay, now going back to the Tor Browser folder, you'll see I've got uh, a text file here called Daemon Script. Now this script is what we're going to use to create uh, the, the, the um, executable file to download the Monero blockchain. Okay, so first things first, we're going to copy this. Now before we do that, uh, you'll see on this line data directory slash media slash amnesia this here WDSSD is my external is the name of my external hard drive okay if I scroll down here you'll see my external hard drive is called WDSSD uh, what you need to do is change this to whatever the name of your hard drive is or it's not going to work okay 
make tall browser folder. So we're going to copy this code. To do this, to create this executable file, we actually need to go into the Monero GUI folder and open that in terminal. We don't want to do this in uh, the Tor browser folder. Okay, so in the Monero GUI folder, open the terminal, paste the script and hit enter. Okay, and you'll see it has created the start daemon app image file. Next, what we need to do is make this file executable by using this code, pasting it in terminal and hit enter and you'll see the file has changed into an, an executable file. To, uh, to confirm that, what you can do is right click on it, hit properties, go to permissions and you'll see it says allow executing file as program. Okay, now we're going to, what we're going to do now is just if you double click on that, you'll see it opens, the, it starts the daemon to start downloading the Monero blockchain to your external hard drive, okay? You'll see it says synchronization started. The first time you do this, you're going to have to have your external hard drive plugged in probably for a few days, depending on the speed of your internet. Uh, remembering that we're using Tails over Tor, so it's going to take a little bit longer than it would say uh, if we're not using Tor, okay? So you'll see synchronization started. Now I've already got the blockchain downloaded in full. Um, and you'll see a message come up that says, uh, when it's downloaded in full, you'll see it says um, synchronized. All right, so if we just wait a few moments for that. Okay, I'll, just, I'll pause the video there for a little bit, just because it's taking a bit of time to connect. Now, whenever you load this um, daemon, uh, most of the time you'll find uh, these error messages pop up. I just wanted to show you this. Um, and say that uh, you just have to wait, do not shut down the daemon, just wait until it connects and it will eventually connect. Um, and when your blockchain is fully synchronized, you'll see this green message here that says synchronized okay. All right, so now do not close this daemon. Uh, when you open the Monero GUI, you need this daemon to be running. If you close this daemon down, the GUI isn't going to work, okay? As for the script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, paste it into the uh, description of the video. So you've got it below um, and you can just copy and paste it into a text file. So I'm going to close up that.